You've seen the build up of the Cuba bookshelf. Well, I'm gonna slow it down and take you through every one of the steps. Show you all the tips and tricks of how easy this is to do. Let's get started. Start off by opening up your box, removing all the panels and locate that instruction manual because that's the key to identifying which panel is which and where it goes. So straight away we can see we've got two side pieces. We've got a right hand side and a left hand side. So how to identify? Well first of all on the side panels there are double holes which are located at the bottom side of the shelf and you want to make sure that your cover strip is on the front facing section as the back is not covered. The left hand side is an exact mirror image of the right hand side. We've then got two floating shelves. They're more or less the same as the fixed shelves but the only difference is there's no mounting holes on these sides. The fixed shelves have the holes for the hardware. And there's also two fixed rails which are going to be used at the base of the bookcase. And over on the far side we've got our loose back panel pieces. Now we know which panels are which, let's check out our hardware. Now this is where I like to sort and organize my hardware as it's going to make it much easier in selecting the right hardware for the assembly process. We've got our wooden dowels, director screws, shelf pins and our panel pin nails. We've got our feet which are going to go on the underside of the bookcase. We're going to take the dowel sticks, we've got our three shelves here, we've got our top shelf, our middle fixed shelf and our base shelf. We're going to insert our dowels into the middle holes, one on each side. And we've also got our two rails. You'll see there's two holes on the end there. One dowel goes into the large hole. Push that in with your fingers and then pop that into place. We've got our protective feet. Just push those into the pre-drilled holes on the bottom edge of the right hand side panel and exactly the same for the left hand panel. As for the tools that you need for the assembly, well the pack comes with an allen key. You're also going to need a hammer to insert the panel pin nails. All our prep work is complete, it's now time for the fun part which is the assembly. We're going to start off with the side rail. Now I always find it better to obviously work on a smooth surface. So we're going to start off with our first panel with the top side facing up and that you can identify because it's got the covered edge on the front and the uncovered edge is going to be on the back. Line that up vertically and then take your first fixed panel, move right up to the top section and line that first peg in with the middle hole at the top. As you hold that into position, you'll see that the framework stays standing and now you can use your other hands to carry on with the rest of the panels. As we work our way down, we have our next fixed shelf in the middle. Moving down to the next one, line up with the next middle hole. Likewise with our rails, we have one set to go on the bottom. Whilst we've got those three in position, take your director screws and your allen keys and insert them from the other side through into each one of those panels and that'll secure it down tightly. I now need to put in the right hand side. Let's line that up with that first dowel right on the end there. Line that one and that one. And remember before you close it completely, don't forget that front rail section. We're going to line that dowel stick up and then secure that side piece to each one of those panels again with the director screws. Okay, that's the structure complete. We now need to put on our backboard. So easiest way to do this is just to flip it over. So our back panel is made up of three pieces. We've got the two large backboards and those two are going to be joined together with this little piece in the middle. And what's going to happen is kind of like a tongue and groove. The tongue is going to slide into the groove of this joiner. Line that up square with the edge of the board and then we'll pop in our little joiner. And then our next panel just slides straight in. Line them up square with the top edge and then use your panel pins to tack it all the way around. Now when you're popping in your panel pins, make sure that the pin is situated in the middle of the timber. If it's too close to the edge, it's going to burst out the side and damage the side of the panel. Okay, that's our back panel secure. Okay, so what we're going to do next is now make use of our shelf pins. Now you can see there's three different locations of where your shelves can go. 
just pop in the shelf pins and you've got enough shelf pins for the two shelves. All our pins in, it's now time for our loose shelves. Take your first shelf, line it up, and then slide them down. Next one. There you go, the structure is complete, our shelves are in. All we need to do now is apply our little covers to cover up those unsightly director screws. When applying them, you'll see they've got a grain structure and a grain direction. Just make sure you keep the grain direction the same, covering up each one of those director screws. That way it's practically camouflaged and you can't see those screws at all. There you go, the flat pack assembly is complete. And wow, it looks fantastic. Really does look like I built the whole thing myself. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos just like this for you to be inspired, get to Builders, and get it done.